Hey guys, welcome to my channel and once again, thanks for watching. Well, once again, I'm reacting to something that I've been waiting for since forever, literally. Like, I love, love, love this comic. I think it's genius. I think it's amazing. The illustrations are just great. This comic is worth the money, like, for sure. Like, seriously. And I'm super excited to finally, um, you know, see a story of the Joker and how you know, he's just as crazy as we all know him, so I'm super excited. And also, I'm really, really happy that Kevin Conroy and also Mark Hamill are coming back. Um, I mean, they are just incredible. And, you know, it, there's no, no such thing as saying that you don't like Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy. Like, seriously, like, it's the most, like, their voices are just incredible for these characters and I think it's just a great time for DC to you know give all this information about the Joker because now the Suicide Squad is coming, Jared Leto is playing the Joker I mean Jared is just amazing as well and you know I can explain everything uh, uh, like I think I love Jared Leto like so much that I can't explain in words I think he's just a great entrepreneur, a great musician. He's part of, he, you know, he's the lead singer of Three Seconds to Mars, and I'm, I don't know, there is something incredible, and you know, I can express myself enough about that band and and his talent, and I have a lot of faith in him, actually, and and you know, there has been so many things going on about the Joker and what is the role of the Joker in the Suicide Squad and. You know, we, it, it's all a mystery and I'm super excited for the new footage that, are, that they are going to be releasing this, um, in this I think it's 10th of April, if I am not mistaken, uh, you know, in the MTV Movie Awards, but I'm going to record myself, you know, watching that footage, so stay tuned for that, um, because, you know, I'm gonna be really excited as always, but this is just incredible, I think that movie is... That that movie is gonna be awesome, and it's the, my most anticipated movie of the year, so stay tuned. Um, but going back to The Killing Joke, I think it's, you know, incredible how genius is the story, and I don't know if they're going to do something from this story in the DC universe, but I hope so. I think the Joker here is just not um, crazy as always, so... Let's go watch it. He's been in custody for two years. He'll confess. He's insane. It's a mistake to think you know what he'll do. Are you sure of that? What do you mean? I mean, don't underestimate him. Damn. The origin story just, oh my god. Summer 2016. Oh my god, you guys, it's awesome! Oh god, it's just awesome. I don't know if I uh, selected a teaser trailer, but either way, I saw something, and that's something. You know, it's very exciting. Imagine your little, you know, beating Ben Affleck and vice versa. I think it's 
Oh my god, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Of course, Jared is going to watch this movie like a million times. Because he's coming back as a Joker, I'm sure of it. Like, I'm sure. Like, I know that Batman v Superman didn't have a very positive review, but I think Suicide Squad will. And I know that they are reshooting some scenes, which is very surprising, but it's not, you know, it's very surprising for fans, but it's not, like, it's re really usual in movies that they make that, you know, for corrections or stuff that they wanted to, you know, create uh, and they weren't to wear at the moment. And I think it's it's great that they're doing that uh, for the benefit of, of the story and, you know, the fans uh, to make them happier and, and stuff. So I'm truly excited for that. Um, really crossing fingers that they don't mess up, you know, Harley Quinn and the Joker and their story and, you know, I think it's better to stick to the comics some, some, somehow. I know that Batman v Superman was kind of in between and a lot of people didn't like it because they didn't understand or they didn't know who, went, who was Doomsday or Lex Luthor, you know. But it, it's nice to know that I think that a lot of people like want to see more, uh, you know, Wonder Woman and, you know, the villains that are coming. I know that a lot of people that are not DC comic fans and are really excited for Suicide Squad, so, you know, the marketing campaign is to keep on going and keep on being fierce and badass as as you know as the tattoos that they made for um austin um i think that that was amazing and that was genius i wanted to have that tattoo but you know um i think it's great that they are you know giving away these kind of stories for people to enjoy and to have an idea of the joker and I want to know what you think. I want to know what you think about the Joker and his role in the Suicide Squad. I think it's gonna be. I think he's gonna be a villain for sure, because you can never control that much craziness. But you know, I don't think he's gonna be part of the story. So, I'm, like, I don't think he's gonna be somehow inside the story. Uh, I think the main villain is going to be Enchantress. But I don't know, like. You know, you can never control villains as... You know, I know that Viola Davis is playing um, these badass, uh, uh, you know, lady, which I don't know why, but I forgot the... Ah! Uh, ah Amanda Waller, yes. Uh, I thought I forgot the name, um, but she's playing Amanda Waller and I know that, that by fact that she is just as badass as the villains. But I don't know, like I... I hope that they, I, I like the scene after the trailer that, you know, Carly said, uh, we're bad guys, that's what we do, because it's really what they do, they don't care about anything, they just care about, you know, somehow themselves and, uh, but I want to know, like, the story of Deadshot as well, I know that he has, like, a, a um, daughter, and I think he loves his daughter. I know that a lot of villains are villains because they need to be villains, but I think the Joker doesn't really know, like, love, like, he's just crazy, badass crazy, like, and I, and I am very excited to see what Mark Hamill voice is gonna be like. I know that we, you know, we have seen a lot of, uh, of you know, games and, you know, the original Batman series. Uh, the animated series and he was like the person the Joker like he was incredible but I don't know like this story is creepier darker and I think it's not for kids somehow I don't know if they're going to be you know uh, rated R I don't know if it's gonna be rated R but I think it should um, because it's really dark and you know it's kind of scary but I think that Mark Hamill is going to be incredible and you know Kevin Conroy like he has the sexiest voice voice ever so I'm really excited for that uh, the animation looks pretty cool 
you know, it, it's never, it's never going to compare to, you know, that watching the actual actor play the, the Joker. Um, but you know, that's why I'm like, so excited for Suicide Squad because you know we we saw his Ledger and we were like all blown away by his performance. But you know, watching the Joker again is just wow. And I I don't know if if the Suicide Squad is going to top the Dark Knight. Uh, because the Dark Knight is just pure, pure, pure awesomeness and I'm not saying that the Suicide Squad is not going to be pure awesomeness but it's going to be a challenge you know, because a lot of people that are, that are not fans of the comics love, you know, uh, this the Dark Knight and this kind of uh, movie and now that they're creating this funny and badass and bad, bad versus evil you know, movie, I think that a lot of people are going to be attracted by it, but they're going to be a little confused because they don't know the origins of the actual characters from that appear there. So I don't know how the story is gonna go, but I hope, hope really hope that David um, makes it work and makes it fun and amazing as always. So. Well, that, that was my reaction. It was not very long, but you know, uh, it's something that I wanted to share with you because, you know, as I said, it's my favorite comic. So comment below, what do you think about this um, teaser trailer and animation and Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill coming back? And you know, what do you think about the Joker from Suicide Squad? What, what are your opinions about your Leto's performance? And, See you soon guys, see you really soon because I'm going to record myself from, um, you know, watching the footage from, from the MTV Movie Awards that there are going to be a lot of footage from Civil War and also Suicide, Suicide Squad so I'm really excited for that. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Ciao!